Hey everybody, it's Tamika and we are back with episode number six in the Loaded Envelope series. So if you haven't checked out one through five, please do so. I will have all the links in the description box. And I had a couple questions as to what paper I was using. So uh, it's the same paper I've been using throughout all the videos. So I am referring to the Paper Studio, the Pink Passport, of which I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, it was on sale, 50% off paper when I got it. So that's the paper that I'm using to make this loaded envelope. And uh, another question that I got was to show the loaded envelope at the be at the end of the video. And I did, I think, on video one or two. But I've decided to wait to um, show the reveal video for the end so that we can all see it. So kind of build up everything. So I've decided to wait to do that to show you, you know, the finished product towards the end. So um, with that being said, we're going to work on video number six today, episode number six, and we're going to make a mini pocket letter. And it's the one where it's just the three rows going across. And I think that'd be super cute to tuck into like the little pocket that's in the front of the loaded envelope. So we're going to work on that. And these are some of the items that we're going to use. I'm using this Anna Griffith uh, Griffin metallic card paper. It's a paper that I got from HSN a long time ago. And as you can see, I barely chip off of it. But it has this really pretty... Um, silver paper in it that I'm going to use so I'm just going to pull that out I'm going to flip it to the opposite side so it doesn't reflect everything and then I'm also going to use this um, which I've had since I started doing pocket letters it's the baseball pocket letters I got these from Target and um, you get 65 pages and they hold baseball cards but we use them for pocket letters so you're just going to need one sheet actually just a third of the sheet so that's all you're going to need and I think I'm going to use a one sheet of eight and a half by 11 black and white card stock. And then of course, pattern paper from the collection. I pulled out three sheets that I am wanting to use. And then of course, I'm still chipping away at this journaling sheet that I am going to use. And some tools, I have a corner rounder. I'm using the crop -a dial and then a hole punch I'm using um, same same thing, crocodile here. Uh, this is the corner chomper. This is the crocodile. You can use just a regular hole punch. I got some double-sided tape, a hole reinforcer. These are from the Dollar Tree. I got some small scissors in case my large ones won't do the job. I'm also needing some sequins, sequins and some seed beads. So that's what I'm using. And then I have, um, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. I have this stamp set. I can't tell you where I got it from, but it's a really cute stamp set. And then I got some ink. I'm using Memento ink stamp block. You know, the usual. You need paper trimmers, wet glue, hot glue. Um, <clears throat> and I have a little array of doodads down here that I will explain as I use them. And I'm also going to use my fuse tool. So it's over here off site. Um, at my court outlet won't reach you guys know I have to like glue and stuff off the camera but I'm going to use my fuse tool um, to make like a little shaker pocket inside the uh, mini uh, pocket letter so let's get started come on and craft and chat with me <laughs> All right, I'm going to start off this is the silver paper I'm going to start off by cutting three of these down um, to size of the card which is two and a half by three and a half so I'm going to cut these down this is going to be like my base so I'm going to cut that down three and a half so two and a half two and a half and two and a half okay and this is again is the silver paper I'm going to round the corners of that okay and then I am going to I'm going to cut off and see if I can cut it off with this trimmer yes I can make sure I did not cut too low I did not yay so I'm going to cut off the top half or the top third of the card just below where it's sealed off at okay and then I am going to cut the rest of my paper. So 
I'm going to cut the white sheet of cardstock because I'm going to stamp on that. And that's going to be, again, two and a half by three and a half. I'll just need one of those. And that's going to go, I'm going to lay it out so I can know what I'm doing here. That's going to go toward the front. It just got them turned over. And on the back, the underside is going to be like little goodies that I'm going to have on the back, pre-packaged goodies. And then the middle, I think I'm going to have like shaker bits. I can't decide if I'm going to have that empty or not, but we'll see if it's going to be just an empty shaker. I may just, we'll see. And then one is going to be of this lady from the die, from the collection. This, this lady up here. So I'm actually going to measure her. I think this was two and a half by three and a half. Two and a half by three and a half. Okay. I want to get her on here. So I'm going to cut her down. All right. Hold on. It's pretty late. I'm up here trying to make a dog unloaded envelope. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Cut this down. So I'm going to use her, but I'm going to hold this up so I can see what piece I'm going to use. I'm going to hold her up to the light. Pardon me. I'm going to hold it up to the light so I can get like the juicy bits of it. And see where I want to cut it. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some wet glue and then just go ahead and layer her on this um, white sheet of cardstock. And then I'm just going to cut around. Using these scissors and a couple of you asked about these scissors. Uh, I got these from Tuesday morning. They were $6.99 when I got them. And this is what I got. She's cute. So, um, I like her. So, I'm going to add, I think I can fit, I'm going to add some stickles. I didn't pull out any stickles, but I can fit some stickles on here, and then I can fit a flat back pearl. I'm going to grab that real quick. Okay. I think I'm going to use a bigger one this time. And then I'm going to add some stickles to her eyelashes. Yes, honey. She need to have the bling lashes. I'm going to add some to her lipstick. And then we'll do, we'll do her headband. Just to add a little bit of fun. Yeah. That's cute. I'll hold it up for you guys so you can see. It's going to be super cute. Right like this in this pocket. It's going to go right on top of there. So actually, I can go ahead and adhere. I can adhere that now with the wet glue. I can adhere these back to back. Because this one's done. And I don't think this is going to go in the middle. I don't know where it's going to go. But it's not going to go in the middle, I don't think. Alright. thought this was a cute little element to add to the loaded envelope. Now, let's go ahead and cut another one out Let's see what was that was that three and a half no it's 
three and a half by two and a half. And let's stamp on this one. Okay. And I'm going to use this one. She turned her cans into cans and her dreams into plants. I thought that was a very positive saying and motivation and inspirational quote to add. Just like Little Miss Coco Chanel, who was who turned her situation the same into the same thing. If you guys know the Coco Chanel story, she did not, if I recall correctly, she did not have a lot of money either. Okay. <sighs> Dagnabbit! The plus about this is I can turn it over. Okay, let's try that again. And let me see if I can stamp on something hard. Because I don't think my surface is really it's too forgiving okay let's try it again better all right okay i'm gonna put this back and then we can put this away Okay, and then I have these cute little, let's get this out of here. I have these cute little um, bowls, these black and silver bowls. I thought they were perfect to add to this little thing here. Um, so this is going to go like on here, just like that. And I'm going to corner around the edges. But there's a little mark there, so I'm going to add this bow right there. Oh, bing! Just like that. And I'm going to add another one at the top just to give it, just to match it. Easy peasy. And then I could add some other bling elements. I have some of these tiny little blings, or I can add the flat back pearls, period, and without adding the bows, and just add the flat back pearls on it. I like that better. Okay. Okay. So all of the glue wants to come off of all these little pearls. One more. I'm gonna bring one over here. Okay. But I really like these little bows though. So I'm gonna put one there though. There we go. That works. Let me make sure I corner around that first. Oh, but I didn't corner around this one, so maybe I didn't corner around this one. And well, that's not going to look right if I don't do that one. Dag. 
you can have it. All right, let's add the glue. Okay. And then let's add this one. Okay, and then we'll add uh, this bow. here and then this bow at the bottom I'm glad these bows are flat that helps out a lot and they're so pretty okay I don't even know where I got these from I can't begin to even tell you they were in my stash and they matched and they looked cute so there we go I'm gonna spray this with my shimmer and heat it be right back there we go super shimmery okay and then this last one let's see I'm trying to think if we should just put put it in there and fill it with the shaker bits or not let me see if this is dry yet I did spray it with some shimmer too okay Let's see how this looks in here let's put this one on this side and then the shaker can go in the middle and then I can fuse that oh come on now and then it's so cute let's see I have some goodies I have this which matches everything so nicely and I'm gonna put that See how that silver is really nice? I'm going to put that behind here. Just need like little tidbits to go in these little mini pockets. And then I have some um, washi samples that was gifted to me. But they work perfectly for this letter. So I'm going to put them in here. There. And then I think, yeah, we're going to put the shaker bits on the inside and then fuse it. Let's see. And then we're going to decorate outside. Okay. So let's open that. We're going to use a little bit, let's see, a little bit of the white. And the black. And the pink. more of the white I wish I had some silver I wish I could find the rest of my you know what it'd be cute if I put some of these we'll put some of these silver little rhinestones in there right that'll be cute these little bling pieces right wouldn't that be cute Let's see. And the bows. Put some bows in here. Just a couple of them.
that's cute. And then I have some of the seed beads. Let's put some of that in there. And put a little bit more CVs in here. That's so pretty. I kind of feel like I'm missing something. So I'm gonna put some more black in here. So a little bit more. And let's see. And then maybe um, we can punch. Maybe we can punch something in here. I can add some of these cute little ones back here. I didn't notice. Make sure I'm not putting any yellow in there. Some of these turquoise ones. Some of those in there. Let's see, something came in here that does not belong. That is a pretty mix. And then, last but not least, I can add, I have this um, Martha Stewart Heart Confetti Punch. Can punch it in this color and add some in there. Ha ha, isn't that cute? So I punched it twice. Come on down. And then I can put that in there. Just make some soup. And then I'm going to punch it in this silver paper. And put it in there. Now we're good to go. Look how cute that is. Now I'm satisfied. Oh wait, we got some empty random sequence and uh, hearts. I'm going to clean this off and put it in there so no one can escape. Let's see. They're sticking to me everywhere. All right, now I'm going to take this over here and, and seal it. All right. Isn't that cute? That is adorable. I love it. It's so cute. Oh, that looks, oh, I just love it. Okay, so now let's decorate this side. Oh my gosh. Why don't I ever make more of these? And that's the back. Okay, so I'm going to clear this away and then we'll make decorate the side of this. Okay, so um, what we're going to do now is decorate this. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Okay, so I have some um, lace and some washi. I'm going to use this bottle cap charm. My friend Audrey, who is so good all, made these for, um, she was in a collaboration and she, she made two of these. One is black and this one is silver and pink. And it's really pretty. So you'll have to check out her um video on this i'll link her video on this below but it's really cute and it matches this project perfectly there is the black one I, i'm thinking this 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 one matches better so i'm going to use it so what i'm going to do is um add this lace and y'all know this is so cute i don't even make charms very well and this person is super special so I am going to give you this girl, you know I want to hoard that, but I'm going to give it to you. But um, I'm going to add this lace to this pocket, uh, this pocket, well this mini pocket, but I'm going to add this using some hot glue um, so that I can stay. I'm just going to add it off camera really quick. 
and then I'm going to add this silver glitter washi right down here yeah this is some ad adhesive washi tape but I'm going to add some double sided tape first to this and then I'm going to add that to it I had to cut that down so I didn't like it all the way going to the top so I cut it down a little bit and I like that a little bit better and plus it follows the tab that's right there oh shoot I said I was going to add the tape didn't I <laughs> all right here we go okay clean it up okay and now I want to add a hole with this hole reinforcer on top of it It's not going to stay on there but this one will uh, I don't like that all right I didn't like that I didn't like how it looked it just looked ratchet and raggedy so um, I decided that I like this better like this um, I also like it um, just with washi on the side so here's my like example just with like a plain little washi see how that looks just cute simple like that I this was too long for it so what I'm gonna do is cut out another piece and I debated on whether or not I was going to put all of this in, but I just want to show you guys that you can come back from a loss. So I'm just going to cut another piece. Okay. I'm using the middle section this time. So you won't have that curve at the bottom. Okay. And I am going to have to, because this I could keep, but... When I cut it off, it left some of that black lace residue, and I just can't do messy. So what I'm going to do is, and I, I just don't want to give her, I don't want to give nobody crap anyway, regardless. So I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to just redo this really quick. It's not a big deal. I'm going to cut this pocket off. And I see there's a turquoise one in here I don't want in here anyway. That's one and where'd you go? Now we've got the nerve to run. Where is it? Two. All right. So I'm just gonna take out these innards and put it in this one and then I'm going to fuse this real quick easy peasy all right and then now we can just put this back in here quick fix put this one back over here yeah I just can't if I'm not I just can't I'm not going to be able to do it put this one in here and 
and then I said I was going to use some pattern paper. I'm just going to see how this pattern paper will look because I might just leave that like it is with the silver in the back. But let me just see how it would look if it even needs some some um, pattern paper in the back. I kind of like how it looks, but we don't know until we till we try. So I'm going to cut a piece down to two and a half by three and a half. See, and it may just clash. Let's just see. Oh, it's raining. It's raining, raining. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. All right. Let's see. Um, we could actually... We could actually do without the paper it is raining bad I hope you guys can still hear me we can actually do without this cardstock and we're almost done anyway so we won't add the cardstock to that so we will add this washi tape and I'm gonna add double-sided tape to this though so I can make sure it stays even though this washi is adhesive but y'all know how it be just simple less is more that's what happens when you try to do the most see how pretty that is it's really cute and then we're going to do the back really cute really really pretty so that's the front and then the last thing that I am going to add is this twine so that it can close inside the loaded envelope and this is some Myro twine that I have all right and let's see I may I could loop it through here I could make a little hole and loop it or should I just tie it around maybe I can make a little hole I don't know I mean it would have to have a little hole on it if you put it in a book so I'm I'll make a little hole right here I'll do that and then push this through And I just double, double string through there. And pull it through there again. cute little bow there we go that's super cute now that I am happy with that I can deal with so there we go that's project number or episode number six so for the loaded envelope stay tuned tomorrow for the last um, the last episode that we'll do uh, lots of little things that we'll do like finishing touches on some little things that we need for the envelope and then we'll do the reveal video so I will see you guys then be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think any suggestions or um, 
things you have questions on, please leave them below. Like the video, guys. So, all right, guys. Um, talk to you then. Bye.